Gulag was the government agency in charge of Soviet network of forced labor camps. Some sources suggest that 14 million people were imprisoned in the Gulag labor camps from 1929 to 1953. Probably the worst camp was the Vorkuta corrective labor camp, commonly known as the Vorkuta Gulag or simply Vorkutlag. The Vorkuta Gulag was also one of the largest camps in the Gulag system with 73,000 prisoners at its peak in 1951 containing Soviet and foreign prisoners, including prisoners of war, dissidents, political prisoners, enemies of the state, and common criminals who were used as forced labor in the coal mining works. The Vorkuta Gulag was established by Soviet authorities in 1932 on a site in the basin of the Pechula River approximately 1,900 kilometers from Moscow and 160 kilometers above the Arctic Circle. There were approximately 132 subcamps in the Vorkuta Gulag system during the height of its use in the Soviet prison system. Vorkuta was also used to hold German prisoners of war captured on the Eastern Front in World War II as well as criminals. Soviet citizens and those from Soviet allied countries deemed to be dissidents and enemies of the state during the Soviet era. The German intelligence wanted to liberate this camp, arm the inmates and create a second front behind the actual front lines. Operation Gulag was a German military operation in which German and Soviet anti-communist troops were to be create an anti-Soviet resistance movement in Siberia during World War II by liberating and recruiting prisoners of the Vorkuta Gulag system. The plan was designed in mid-1942 by Soviet POWs in German captivity. The operation was primarily the brainchild of an NKVD officer who knew the Gulag system very well, Commander Ivan Georgievich Bessonov and other Red Army officers. The plan of the German efforts to create anti-communist resistance behind the Soviet lines called for a naval and air invasion of Siberia by Allied German and anti-Soviet Red Army forces targeting the Gulag penal system recreating more anti-Soviet forces from the prisoners and thus opening a second front in the war between Nazi Germany and Soviet Union. The plan called for the creation of insurgent activity in the northern Dvina River region. Landing force members had to seize the gulags, free and arm the prisoners and deportees and move with them in the general direction of the south. About 150 Soviet POWs were conscripted into the units that were to be used in the operation. Two assault groups of 55 people each, the group of radio operators consisting of 25 people and the female medical group of 20 people. On the 2nd of June 1943, the first group of 12 former Soviet POWs trained by the Germans and dressed in NKVD uniforms were airdropped in the Komi Republic. On the 9th of June, the group was however detected. Two members were killed, the rest were taken prisoner by real NKVD troops. Soon after this failure, the Germans decided to abandon the entire operation. The anti-communist group that Bessonov founded in the POW camp was disbanded and he himself was transferred to the Sachsenhausen concentration camp. Some of Bessonov's organization members were employed in other German anti-Soviet operations without any notable success. Bessonov survived the war and was executed by the Soviet authorities in 1950.